Hello and welcome to another episode of Spice Vader. Today is the day. It is here. It's been been waiting for this thing for a while. I initially wasn't going to get one of these, but um, I ran into a lot of issues with my Dell XPS 15 9500, and I want to sell it, get rid of it, and move on. So what do I have? The new Framework Laptop 13 AMD Ryzen 7. Wait, or is this the Ryzen 5? <laughs> Framework AMD Laptop 13, brand new, just released, batch 4 of this year, 2023. Uh, I got it one day shipping. It's just incredibly crazy. They said two day shipping. It shipped from Taiwan and was here in the States and at my door in like 24 hours. Just crazy shipping time. So anyway, here it is. Let's get it unboxed and find out what's inside and kind of inspect it too. I see there's a little gash here and I'm not too concerned with it, but you know, let's just check it out and make sure it's good. Over here, so I'll just cut into it here. Now this is the DIY edition. So I got this for the lowest price that you can buy these for. There we go. Oh, that's nice. What do we got here? Framework, the bezel. Ah, uh, this is the, uh... oh, that's so cool. Look at that. You put that on some clothing or something. The pre-order bonus or something like that, limited edition. Oh yeah, just a quick guide here, what the components are. That's pretty cool. Little cards that I ordered. So we got HDMI, two USB-Cs, and then a USB-A. And now separately I ordered another USB-A, a display port, and another USB-C because I have a future idea for a video in mind that uh, might be useful, but I wanted the flexibility to swap these out, so. But yeah, if you don't know much about these frameworks, they're a do-it-yourself, or they're just really just a repairable laptop, but you can also do it yourself, put it together. Uh, seeing Linus's video, he showed that they do actually put it together to test it, and then they take it apart again, which is fine. Whatever makes it cheaper for me. I, I know how to build things, so I'm not concerned about that. Framework and cool. Nice. So far, so good. Everything's looking right. I didn't order the charger because that was extra and I just don't need it. Uh, so let's take a look. Here's the bezel part. And we got the type cover, the keyboard cover, input cover, they call it here. And then we have the actual laptop frame itself. And it's got that Apple paper cover kind of thing on it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that profile. This is the 7640U edition, uh, as you can see here. I wanted this version specifically because I had overheating issues with the 10875H that's in my XPS 15. I want to specifically go with a six core, 12 thread version. The 7840U would have been nice uh, with its eight core, 16 threads, but I've seen some preliminary like Cinebench tests on the 7640U. It's not that much behind the 7840U. So those two cores and four threads, I don't know if I'm gonna really miss out. And it's gonna draw way less power. 65 watts is all this needs. The XPS was taking 130 watt power adapter. I just couldn't take it anymore. I just don't want that. Now the screen is really nice and the speakers are really nice on my XPS. So we'll see how this compares. I know the speakers aren't gonna be that great, but if this screen is sufficient enough, we should be in business. So anyway, getting back to it here. That's the laptop part. And then this is the toolkit. it looks like, which is just the screwdriver. Nice. Sure, you buy the RAM and the SSD. Since I got the DIY edition, I got this for $849, I believe. And with 
by doing that, I was able to pick up this SSD while it was on sale uh, at, their, at their lowest price. I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember what it was exactly. And 32 gigs of RAM. So this is what I have currently in my XPS. Not this specific kit, but this these specs. I have two terabytes and 32 gigs of RAM. And then we're gonna put them head to head and see how they function and perform against each other. And just kind of do some overall review-ish kind of things, but stuff about the 7640U specifically, because there's not a lot of reviews out there about it. So I wanted to cover it and I also need to get a laptop set up for myself. So it's kind of gonna check a lot of boxes here all at the same time. So I had a gift card for Shields. So I picked up this GAN charger um, for about like $5 after my gift card. So I'm like, cool, we'll do that. And I have tons of these USB-C cords laying around. So uh, 65 watts will, should be enough to power up this laptop. So let's throw a little bit of this back together. Let's dig in. I'm gonna be very gentle here, very intentional. I'll be able to leave that one alone. If I can peel this one, there we go. Oh, very nice. I like it. This has a nice look to it. People were complaining, oh, it could have been thinner. I don't know, this looks pretty thin to me. You know, I was gonna grab my iFixit tool set, but you know what, let's use the tool they provided. This should be sufficient to do everything, so why not, let's do it. We got a little Phillips and a little uh, T5 it looks like. So I believe they've already had, they've already kind of loosened these screws and they are captive, so you know, no concerns about losing them. Yeah, what do we got, five screws? Oh, it's super easy. These are clicky buttons like a controller button, that's interesting. Listen to that. That's interesting. Okay, let's flip it over, take a look. So I can get in the shot here. Nice. Nice. So let's get right into it. And there's been enough coverage about how these function, what they do and you know, the whole philosophy of framework. So I'm not gonna cover all that. There we go. So you can see here, this is the 7640U. There it is, 7040 series, Ryzen 5 7640U. And it's your expansion slots there. Now this is the USB 4, available on the back slots, but the front slots don't. Again, look up coverage on that. Pretty well known about what's supported and what's not. Yeah, it's interesting. It's showing 56 watts, but the rated capacity is 55. Hmm. Either way, this should be sufficient. Uh, these speakers I heard are kinda okay. Most of the time if I do editing work or anything, I'm gonna pop in my AirPods or put in uh, on my Sennheisers or something, so not too concerned with that. One eternity later. Okay, so I've fully studied this setup process just to make sure that there were no caveats or any gotchas with this. Uh, looks like everything is intact here, so we should be good to go. They want us to start by putting the RAM in, so let's do that. 32 gig DDR5-5600. Um, much cheaper than what Framework was offering. However, the compatibility might not be there. I'm hoping it'll run at the rated 5600 speed. Let's lift this up. We're gonna put both sticks in, so. There's one. Per what the manual said. Yep. So that's good, easy peasy. I mean, that's just like installing RAM in any other computer. So one of those Solidime, this is the company that took over for Intel's um, solid state line. So I'm gonna try them out. This isn't the fastest drive ever, but it was really cheap for two terabytes. And I think it still gives me 
4,100 megabit per second, or megabytes per second, I should say. Uh, read and write, which is plenty for what I'll need it to do. So, no concerns by me on that matter. Ooh, that's, that was in there tight. I suppose they don't want it coming out during shipping, but that's much tighter than I would typically screw in an M.2 screw. There it is. Yeah, slight angle, a little spring to it. And we'll lock it down. Yeah. You can keep the battery connected, it says. But if you want to disconnect it, there it is. Okay, so now we got the uh, SSD and the RAM installed. Let's get to the next step. So the bezel needs to be installed. Oh, that, oh, that wasn't beautiful at all. You know what though? There's no mistakes, just happy little accidents. Bezel gray. I went with a gray bezel. A lot of people would go with the black. I don't know. I just push buttons when I bought it. So I'm going to take this bad boy out. And they said that there's little uh, adhesive backing things here. So, oh yeah, for sure. Yep. They are sticky. So I'll use those. I should do it the, the framework way. Oh yes, nice. Whatever. That's the thing about this company, they don't care. They just want you to enjoy this thing. Let's put it on there. Ooh, those are pretty strong magnets. They just suck themselves right into play. Can I say that on YouTube? I don't know. You know, it's kind of, it's less gray and kind of more off-white, this bezel. And you know what? I don't mind it. Oh, you can kind of see the framework here if you get the right light. It's not as obvious as like on the black bezel, I don't think, you know, from what I've seen on the other pictures and stuff. Yeah, that ain't bad. I kind of liked that, uh, they kept us all up to date about the revisions with these and how they upgraded the hinge to be a little more sturdy. So um, that was kind of one of my concerns from watching the reviews about the Intel ones. So I'm hoping that this latest and greatest with the AMD will have all the revisions done to it and we'll have no issues. <laughs> I don't want issues. Okay, so let's do the input cover kit, the last part. There, I did that one a little more intentionally and more beautifully. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Again, it's got this paper wrap that's very Apple-esque. So we'll take this out. I've heard that the keyboards are really nice on these. The trackpad is okay. Oh yeah, I mean that's pretty straightforward. You just clip this on. You want it to look the same way that it comes off, so. Line it up. I mean that's about as easy as it gets folks I mean really yeah it's not the day of your desktop replacement huge laptops that had the slide off covers on the bottom that let you change everything but I mean you yeah you do have to unscrew it to get things apart but yeah that doesn't look too bad now there's a little bit of a fitment issue up here So I'm gonna go investigate that. And it's probably just these. Need these 
getting pinched in the hinge. Let's try it again. Yep, much better fitment. Much better. It was just those cords that they mentioned that you need to keep an eye out for. So let's close it up. Yeah, I can see there's a little twist to it, but ah, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's finish it off here. Could have used my iFixit toolkit, but this is right here and it's included. It is the right way to do this. There we go. It's done. Just check the seam. That looks really good to me. No Probalo. I don't know if this is a single finger lift. Let's see. Oh my goodness it is. It's very close to being fully single finger. That's just, the XPS does that, the MacBooks do that. That's nice. So I don't think this will start up without uh, power being applied to it. So let me get my power adapter plugged in. Again, did that very unbeautifully. Okay. Ooh, a little crunchiness to it. Yeah, I could tell what people were saying. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of a rough edge as you run your finger there. And yeah, you can see that, but man, you get changeable ports. I mean, just give it up. First plug. Okay, that's orange. Let's, uh, for the camera. That light up. That's good. And now they say that it'll take a little bit for memory training before you'll get any load on the screen. So we'll just give it a little bit of time here and come back. Look at that. There it is. Default boot device missing or boot failed. Insert recovery media. All right, so let's hit enter. And we'll just verify that uh, well the keyboard works. That's good. The DRAM looks like it's registering at 5,600 and 32 gigs. So that's all that matters to me here. Well, let's check the setup utility. Just make sure the two terabyte drive is recognized. Yeah, I wonder where storage is. Yeah, I might just have to boot a Windows 11 ISO or a USB stick to see if that shows up, but I think it'll work. I don't have any. I was more concerned about the RAM not showing than the, uh, the SSD, so I think we're good. And this has the 760M graphics, so the 7840Us have the 780M graphics, and those are well documented. The Ryzen Z1 Extreme is very similar, which is in the Asus ROG Ally. The new Lenovo Legion Go has that as well. So there are lots of ways to get information on the 7840U but not so much for the 7640U. So I want to do some benchmarking on this, cover that, and um, we'll do that in another video. But I'm going to install Windows, kind of play around with it and see how it works. Yeah, so there you go. There is the Framework Laptop 13 AMD Edition. It seems to be working. The install was, you know, I was being really careful with it, but it really, it would, could have been a lot faster if I would have just flew through it. So stay tuned for more on this and uh, I do have an idea about um, benchmarking this against the Ryzen 7 5700G, which is the best integrated GPU desktop GPU, or desktop CPU, I should say, or APU um, from AMD. Intel doesn't even come close, so I'm not even gonna bother with them. But uh, I did see a video uh, from Gamers Nexus about 7000 series G uh, chips that might be on the way, so. I've got a few cool ideas for this, so stay tuned. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great week. Take care and God bless.